Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to use offsets. Sometimes in modeling, we'd like to offset members so that we could represent them on a location that is closer to their real world position. So by default, SkySiv joins members from their nodal points, and the line that represents the member is located at the centroid of the cross section. But this is not always the case in real world. We can use member offset to fix this issue. So in order to showcase this, uh, let's imagine we have a one-story building with some floor beams here. Um, in real world, we'd like these beams to sit exactly on top of columns, which means the bottom flange of these beams would be located on top of the columns. First off, let's take a look at member local access. So in order to do this, we can go to the visibility settings here and turn the local access on. Um, so the colored lines on each member represent access local to the member. Green indicates the direction of the local y-axis, um, red indicates the direction of the local x-axis, and blue indicates the direction of the local z-axis. Also, if we toggle on this option here, 3D member on hover, uh, we can easily visualize the cross-section on the wireframe model. So we can observe how this section is now aligned with the local axis of the beam. And also this option can be really useful in uh, rotating the members as well so you can actually visualize where exactly uh, the cross section sits. Now, before inserting the offset values, let's take a look at the structure and see how it looks right now with rendering. So I'm going to turn rendering on. And as you can see, there's this overlap in the members. Um, now, if you look at the members table, you can see basically that currently there is no offset. All these numbers are zero by default, which means that there is no offset in any members. Now, let's go back to the wireframe view. Um, now we can kind of go to the top view and hold down command, select these members that we're trying to offset and select these members. Now that these members are selected, we go to members and then we can see that there is this offset available. So keep in mind that if we're uh, modeling in metric unit, this offset is always in millimeters, and if we're modeling in imperial units, this is in inches. And also we can insert negative values so that they would kind of go um, towards the negative direction of the local axis. Settings from local axis to global axis if you want to offset in the global directions. Now let's insert the offset. Um, so we have to make sure this um, advanced toggle is on and then I'm going to insert the offset values here. Uh, it asks us to confirm. So yes. Now let's take a look at the rendered view. Now here you can see that uh, the floor beams now sit on top of the columns instead of within them. Let's take a look at the wireframe view once again. So although the members um, kind of look disconnected, they're still attached with endnotes. Um, so please note that in SkySave, we are basically, by introducing these offsets, we are kind of introducing a rigid member between the nodes and the member's new location, which this kind of transfers all the force, including additional moment from offsetting the member.
So I undoed the previous offset that I had introduced to show you a more convenient way of offsetting. So imagine we want to like flush the surfaces of different cross section. For example, we want to flush um, the bottom surface of this beam uh, to top of this column. So we do have shortcut commands like top bottom or center that we can use in offset uh, which are very convenient for example if you want to flush top of this surface uh, to this column you can just use T so let's go and select these members once again going to the members and in the offset this time I'm gonna insert B uh, for bottom of course in Y direction apply confirm all right if you look at the rendered view you can see that the bottom surface of this section is sitting on top of the column this way you don't need to calculate how much you're going to need offset. So I hope this video was helpful for those who want to model offset. Please leave your comments down below if you guys have any feedback or questions. Thank you.